Aloha, Claire here with the Alexander Technique in New York City. I am doing a second video in a sequence that I'm going to make about the enervation of the surface of your body, the skin, um, from the top all the way to the bottom. So there's a name for the area of skin that's enervated by a particular nerve as the nerves emerge from your um, brain and from your spinal column. And it's just called a dermatome. It's a big, fancy scientific name. So that's what we're covering. We're kind of going one nerve at a time, one dermatome at a time. And the reason I want to do this is to facilitate awareness. Um, and with that awareness, what we do in the Alexander Technique is we use awareness to discover ways to stop compressing our spinal column. And it's great to start with your head and your neck because the head is what balances on top of your spine most of the time and has a profound effect on your spine. So we're just becoming aware of the relationship of one part to the other through touching the skin. Last month, we did the face, the skin of the face. And I'll just show you an image so you can see the skin of the face. There's three branches of this big nerve. And it pretty much covers the front of your uh, face, your jaw, your nose, and your forehead. It doesn't matter what it's called, but it's the trigeminal nerve. It comes out of your um, skull, out of your brain. OK, and now we're going to do we're going to start with the cervical nerves. The first cervical nerve is solely a motor nerve. It emerges from between your skull and the top vertebra, and it has no sensory aspect to it, so there's no dermatome for it, and it controls head nodding, which is a very important movement. The second cervical nerve, I'm going to show you a picture. It's colored in yellow here, and it covers the skin under your jaw, the side of your jaw, a little bit of your ear, and all the way up around the back of your head. So it makes this beautiful circle all around this part of you that opens to speak, to move, to see, to smell. It's very important that this part of you, that your head be able to open and move on your spine. And um, so I just want you to follow along with me. Use your own hands as I'm touching my skin. I think we'll just do the second nerve because it's enough. Um, so we'll start by, you could just use the back of your hands maybe to brush the skin here under your tongue. And sometimes it gets really tight there. So if you just rest your hands for a second, you may feel the quality of uh, what's going on under there. It's nice when it's free and easy. And then if you keep going back along this nerve pathway, you'll be touching this back of your jaw bone here. And that's also a place that can get really confused because sometimes we perceive it as being part of our neck. But I like to think of this jaw as being more um, with the head and with the forwardness of your face. And if you follow it up, you come to this incredible place of your ears, all the skin of your ears, and where the sound comes in, and the skin of this bone behind your ear, which is so important, the sense that that's your head there. And it's okay to let this open so you can breathe, and you can speak, and you can let the sound out. And then um, it travels up, and it expands to cover the whole back of your head here. And so it's really lovely to realize that everything between here and here, that there can be an opening. Um, all through this whole 
uh, dermatome. So I like to think of it as a circle that's opening. You can do that on the floor if you're wanting a little bit more relaxation and you can experiment with what it's like to really let your um, head roll back a little bit and let the face open up and out. And the first dermatome, we explored a little bit this movement of letting it soften towards yourself. So you're exploring um, this basic movement of your head that, that's so key to all your coordination of your movement underneath. All right, so peace and love. Try it out. Let me know what you think. Bye.